All right. So the idea here is to create the tree trunk and branches. And for the leaves, just create a silhouette with some basic shapes and then use billboarding technique in Unreal Engine to get the final shape. All right. So there are multiple methods to create tree trunk and branches. First one is to create the shape with traditional modeling. We can use the skin modifier approach. So for that, I'll add a mesh plane. Go to edit mode and merge at center. This gives me a single vertex and I can extrude it to create the shape. Now I'll add the skin modifier and a sub D modifier. Now to scale these points, I can just select the point and press Ctrl A and scale it. Now I'll just keep on extruding and make the rest of the shape. After applying the modifier, you can optimize the shape of the tree. You can go to edit mode, select all and go to edges, unsubdivide. It will optimize the geometry. You can also delete these extra edge loops. Also, you can select all and search for limited dissolve. To create the UVs, I'll just mark the seams at the ends to create these branches as separate loops and one longitudinal edge and then just simply unwrap it. Secondly, you can use the add-ons like sapling tree gen or this M3 add-on to quickly create the tree shape. The M3 add-on works with geometry nodes and it gives you tons of options to create the shape. I have created a dedicated video for this. You can check that out. I'll put the link in the description. For now, this add-on works best with Blender 3.0 version, so use it with that. Also, it creates the UVs automatically for the tree. Also, you can use this free program called Tree It to create the tree. Again, it has tons of options. You can create any shape and it gives you very good results. It creates the tree procedurally, however, you can also edit the joints manually and create the shape. And you can export this tree as FBX or OBJ file. Alright, so once you are done with the shape, let's create the silhouette for the leaves. So I'll just add a simple spare. I'll just scale it in the Z direction. Also move it a little bit. And I'll just place it at the ends of these branches. Alright, so here I have created the final shape. Now to achieve the desired effect in Unreal Engine, these faces have to be of almost same size. But because we have used a different shape and we have also edited them using these proportional editing tools, they are not of same size. So we need to remesh these and for that, I'll go to the object data properties and in remesh, I'll use this squared remesher. So let's see how many faces this have. So this piece has almost 500 faces. I don't need that much. So I'll just select the quadri flow remesh and I'll just uh, 
enter about 120 number of faces and click OK. And it remeshes it to create almost similar sized faces. I'll do the same with the bigger ones. Maybe 100 for this one. And for these smaller shapes, I'll pick about 50. After remeshing, I'll just select all these objects and press Ctrl J to join all these into one object. I'll rename it to be Leaves. Now an important step is to create UVs for the leaf silhouette. So we want to lay out each individual face UV in the UV space. So I'll just select all, go to UV and select Reset. If you go to UV editing, you can see all of these faces have UVs laid out in the UV space as same. Now it's a design choice to create separate leaf silhouettes like I have done here. Or you can create one big shape which consumes this old tree. Now I'll select the leaf shape, create a new material, name it leaves. And one I'll create for the trunk. And to export this, I'll join these two together. So again, Control J. And this mesh will have two separate materials, one for trunk and one for leaves. Finally, I'll just apply all the transforms and export it as FBX file. So here I am in Peta. And let's create a basic shape for the silhouette of the leaves. I've just painted the background black and just create a basic leaf shape. Let's fill it white and just create a bunch of leaves. All right, so here I am in Unreal Engine. I've created this uh, basic landscape and let's import our tree. So this is my exported uh, FBX file from Blender. This is my leaf file created in uh, Krita. And this is a basic bark texture that I have created using AI. So I used one of my uh, old and painted textures and with the help of some prompt, I managed to get these textures from AI. So these are all AI generated. Let's uh, drag this to our Unreal Engine folder. I'll not create the material and I'll click on the Build Nanite because this is 5.1 version of Unreal Engine. It supports the foliage material for uh, Nanite. Import. Let us also import these two textures. Alright, I'll create a basic bark material first. So right click and in material, create a material. Let's call it T bark. And I'm not going to do much in this. I'll just simply drag the texture, plug it into the base color. And while pressing 1, if you click on the uh, panel, you just get a value. Let's make it 1 and plug it to roughness. So this is the basic material for uh, bark. Let's apply it, save it. Now I'll open my FBX file. And in here, you can see there are two material slots, one for the trunk and one for the leaves. 
So I'll just plug the bark material to this second one. And now let's create another material for leaves. And again for now I'm just going to create a simple color. So for that I'll just press 3 and click. It gives me a constant color value. Plug it to the base color. Let's change the color. And I'm going to convert it to a parameter. Let's call it base color. And again, I'll drag the leaf texture inside. And in the properties of the material, I'm going to change this blend mode from opaque to masked. It gives us this option of uh, opacity mask. So I'll plug the texture sample of the PNG file to this opacity mask. So here it is. And again, by pressing 1 and clicking, I'll get a value for roughness. I'll put it 1 and plug it to roughness. Again, I'll just open the FBX file and plug the leaf material to the leaf slot. Save it. So, let's take our tree to the pane. So, right now you can see, this is what we get. So, the texture is applied to each face because of our UV setup. So now let's edit the leaf material. In the material, I'll create a grass wind node. So now let's create a parameter. So press S and click. Let's call it intensity. I'll just duplicate this two times. So I have given these the appropriate name, intensity, weight and speed. So for the next part, this additional WPO value, I have taken reference from one of the videos from Stylization and also from Victoria. You can also check these values from multiple videos. So I am not going to go into detail of this by recreating it, but you can just copy the same setup. As I have already told you, I have taken it from the reference. So the important part in this setup is this three parameters, the texture size, the inflate size and the scale. Just create this setup and plug it into additional WPO value. And finally, I will plug this output to world position offset. Now let's create an instance of the material and apply that material to our tree. Now I'll edit it. So here are the parameters that we have created. So these three parameters are editing the texture itself so if you increase the value, for example this scale, you can see it is affecting our texture. So let's put it a value of about 15 and also increase this texture size. Let us also add the wind intensity speed. and weight. So this is how it looks. Let's change the color also. So 
So once you have created this material, you can easily create the variations using this uh, different opacity texture. So here I have created some more textures. So simply you can just duplicate the material. For example, I'll duplicate this uh, instance, create another instance. And in this object, I'll apply this one. And in the basic material, I will also expose this texture sample. I'll convert it to parameter. Now you can directly just drag and drop these textures here. So if I drag this one. This is a different texture. You can change the color. Now we can also add multiple materials to the mesh to create some variations. So for example, if I want to add a flower type of shape, I'll just select our original mesh in Blender. I'll select some faces, like these faces of each of our shape. And I'll create a new material Call it flower and assign to these faces and export it back. All right, so here is our updated tree, and I'm just gonna create the materials for this. So, here I have created a simple flower shape, and let's create another instance. Call it flower. And in this instance, I'll plug this flower texture. And let's give it a red color. And now, for the third element, I'll plug this flower. For the leaves, I'll plug the leaves. And for the trunk, I'll plug the trunk. So here is a mixed material. To pop these flowers out a little bit, I can just use this inflate. So this is how I created this uh, simple scene. I just created these trees with the same technique. So you can use this technique to create any shape for that matter. So for example, these uh, bushes, I'm using the same technique. So if you see the object of this uh, bush, here, uh, if I remove the material, you can see this is a very basic shape. I just created the UVs for each face and applied that same material. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.